Let's demystify the Houdini MPM solver in under one minute. The MPM solver requires three inputs. First is the MPM source. In this case, sand and water are our source inputs. Next is the collider. In this project, it's going to be our cylinder, which is a proxy for our wheel. Then finally, the MPM container. This is basically the bounding box within which our simulation occurs. The important settings you have to worry about are the source type in your MPM source. I'm using a sand and water preset with some custom tweaks in this project. Then set the friction settings for your collider. And finally, the particle separation in MPM container, which determines the resolution of the simulation. Since we have to create a mesh out of our particles for the water, just throw a particle fluid surface node and cache it out. Play around with these values until you land on a simulation that you like. You can also use the transfer attributes node for some cool tricks like transferring the color attribute from our simulation to the wheels and making the wheel look progressively muddy as it passes through the source. Now you can bring everything into the lighting context, set up lighting and materials and render. I hope this helped you understand how MPM Solver works on a high level. Follow and stay tuned for the next video in which we break down the Pyro Solver.